Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with another problem in my Sudoku problem series. <clears throat> This is one that was submitted by Realm Plana, um, and this is the first entropic line problem I'm bringing you. So the way entropic lines work is a little bit different to a lot of other constraints. If you've watched my main channel, you would have seen this a few times, possibly. Um, and along entropic lines, each set of three sequent or each um, set of three sequential cells along a line must contain one low. Um, digit one to three one middle digit four to six and one high digit seven to nine um, so they're the rules and what you can do is like in all the problems you can figure out um, the cells the digits that need to be placed in the x's so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave you to try and figure that out there's a link to this problem below if you need to uh, work on a grid if you don't think you can figure it out in your head and some of our testers couldn't, that's fine. This is a slightly harder one. Um, and um, then you, uh, I will leave, give you a few seconds and come back and explain it. Okay, so this is all based around the concept that because along an entropic line, um, each set of three cells must contain a low, a middle and a high digit. If I was to draw this set of, or select this set of lines, there will be a low, a middle, and a high. And if I was to set to select this set of lines, there will be a low, middle, and a high. And whichever these two are, the one on either side of them, say these were, um, say, uh, let's just use colors. If this was yellow and this was blue, this could be green, which would be the other one. But if I go yellow, blue, green in this order, because I've got a blue and a yellow here, this is the third cell in this set, and this will always have to be green. And because in this set, I'm missing of uh, three, I'm now missing a blue, this will be blue. And every third cell along the line will have to be the same if you've got a line that's longer than three. So this would have to be yellow and this would have to be green. So what we know from this is all of, whoops, uh, all of these cells have to be the same. And because we can't use one, two, three or four, um, five and six along here because the one and the four are in the box. These have to be from seven, eight, and nine. This one can't be seven and this one can't be eight, but that doesn't get you the whole way there. But what does is we have to put a high digit on this line and it's this entire line because you must put a low, a mid, and a high on a run of three. And this line sees a seven and an eight. So there must be a nine on this line. So this becomes the eight and this isn't the eight. This line also needs a high digit and it sees the same seven and eight in its entirety. Um, there, this, uh, because of, in the same box it sees the seven and in the same row it sees the eight, there must be a nine here. So this becomes the seven, this becomes the nine, and that is the solution to the problem. So you end up with seven, nine, eight across in the central box. So that's the way this problem works. It's a really nice entropic trick um, that you will see in some entropic puzzles and is a very nice introduction to the entropic constraint. Hopefully you were able to figure that one out. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.